Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, July 31st, 2010. This week, Shape Up number 3, Creating Shapes That Look Hand Cut. This week, we'll continue our series of video tips that will show you how to work with shapes to create interesting accents for your digital projects. We're celebrating the perfectly imperfect with shapes that are not quite square or not quite round, shapes that look like you cut them out with scissors. To create a shape, begin by opening a new document or a layout in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. For the sample, I'm going to choose black and click OK. Next, create a new transparent layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. And then get the Polygonal Lasso tool. Click and hold the Lasso tool to reveal the tools underneath it and then scroll down to the Polygonal Lasso tool. In the Options bar, choose the New Selection icon and set the feather to zero. Click four times on your new document to create the four corners of your shape and then double click to close the shape. Get the Paint Bucket tool and click inside your shape to fill it with color and then press Ctrl D or on a Mac System Command D to remove the selection. Use your new shape as a clipping mask to make a photo or digital paper look hand cut. Just position your photo or your paper one position above the shape layer here in the Layers panel. Alt-click or on a Mac system, Option-click between the photo layer and the shape layer to digitally glue them together. Using the corner handle, you can resize your photo to fit in the shape. Create a number of these to put together a layout that has a handcrafted look. This is a great way to use the digital papers that you purchase. To make your shape look even less perfect, in the full version of Photoshop, select the shape layer and choose Edit, Transform, Warp. This places a grid around your selected layer. Use the handles to drag the sides of your shape and then click the check mark to confirm when you're satisfied with the results. Put together a fun layout by filling your document with these imperfect shapes. Be sure to check back next week for the next tip in our Shape Up series. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howtoatdesignerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.